Our cover story now, the lawsuit filed overnight by the Tennessee Education Association and multiple educators challenging the prohibited concepts law. We're hearing from some of those teachers in a GMA exclusive. And Stephanie Ramos joins us now from Memphis with that story. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Robin. The Tennessee Education Association and five public school teachers here in the state are behind this lawsuit. They believe the policy banning certain concepts from being taught in schools will complicate how students learn about topics like slavery, 9-11, and the Holocaust. Overnight, the Tennessee Education Association filed a federal lawsuit against the state's Commissioner of Education and several members of the Board of Education over Tennessee's so-called prohibited concepts law. Originally passed in 2021 by the state legislature and signed into law by the governor. We need to teach civics, we need to teach history, and we need to do that in a way that teaches the facts to our kids. And uh, political commentary that's divisive is not factual education. The Public Chapter 493 Act prohibits the inclusion or promotion of 14 concepts related to race, gender, history, and government in the curriculum for Tennessee public schools and public charter schools. Restricting teachers in grades K through 12 from discussing topics deemed divisive, but encouraged to engage in impartial discussions of controversial aspects of history, like 9-11 and the Holocaust. How do you be impartial when discussing Adolf Hitler and him, his involvement in the Holocaust? The impartiality is Adolf Hitler was elected chancellor of Germany and later assumed supreme leadership of that country, led it into World War II, and ordered the Holocaust. Those are facts. Those are impartial. There is no discussion on advocacy beyond that. Teachers are in this gray area where we don't know what we can and can't do and can and can't say in our classrooms. Catherine Vaughn, along with four other Tennessee teachers, have joined the suit. Vaughn has been teaching in the state for the last 17 years. So what are they saying here in the act? when it comes to these 14 concepts? Now, that's a good question because a lot of Tennessee teachers can't tell you. We haven't really been given the instruction on this law and how to run our classrooms accordingly. And so the, the, the Board of Ed, for instance, hasn't gone through these concepts to say, for example, this is what we mean when it applies to this concept. Yeah, the guidance has been very light, if any, and this has been a huge detriment. Our school boards locally, our teachers locally are struggling under this law, trying to figure out what we can and can't say in our classrooms, what we can and can't teach. Teacher Rebecca Dickinson, also part of the suit. It worries me that this will discourage teachers from going into teaching or from staying in the classroom when they feel like people do not trust them to teach what they're supposed to teach. In the lawsuit, examples are given of how this policy is being implemented. For instance, it says one school replaced their annual field trip to the National Civil Rights Museum with a trip to a baseball game. A choir director, for instance, at a different school fears his teaching of the meaning behind spiritual songs will be seen as divisive. As for the teacher we spoke with here, she says that she goes back to school next week and she is already changing her classroom by eliminating certain children's books. Guys. Okay, Stephanie, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.